Chanda, Radhika, Tadali, Krishna, Krishna Bhakta, Tadabhakta, Namo, Namaha, Nityananda, Namo, Stupyam, Paramananda, Namo, Shesha Krishna, Sarvinda, Namo, Namo. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhupada said, Why take it at her? She was at the gold of the wind. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare. Okay, first of all, I have a pranam to our Guru Dev, Om Vishnu Pad, Sishimatsi Bhakti Vedant, Narayan Gosai Maharaj, Ashiksha Guru, Bhakti Ram Narusuddha Maharaj, Shigodu Vinna Maharaj. All Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, Dhanavad. So today is a very auspicious day. Today is the appearance of Hadai Pandit. Ah, sorry, the appearance of the son of Hadai Pandit, that is Nityananda Prabhu. So who is Nityananda Prabhu? He's the incarnation of Balaram. Balaram Hoilunatai. Krishna came as Satchinandan and Balaram came in the form of Nityananda Prabhu. So who is Nityananda Prabhu? Yeah. From Krishna's first expansion, that is Baladeva Prabhu. Right. Baladeva and Krishna, two souls, one body. So both is Bhagavan. Only difference, Baladev has the mood of being the servant of Krishna. Okay. So from that Balaram, <coughs> he expands himself into Dwarka as the first Chaturvyuha. Then he expands himself as Mahasankarsham, the second Chaturvyuha in Vaikuntha. From that Mahasankarsham, he expands as Mahavishnu. Rests on the causal oceans from the pores of his skin come unlimited universes. Then that Mahavishnu expands himself into each universe as the super soul of every universe, for he's known as Gabadaksai Vishnu. And then from there he expands himself as the soul of every soul, as the super soul in the heart of everyone. So that Nitinanda so much unlimited and he appeared <coughs> in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's older brother. So today we will tell some pastimes from Nityananda's birth. I think Nityananda appeared 14 years before Lord Chaitanya. And he appeared in the village called Ekachakra. It said if one visits Eka Chakra once, then he never has to go in the chakra or the cycle of birth and death again. That place is very holy. The Pandavas resided there for a long time during the period of hiding. Duryodhan and his father Dhritarast combined to try to kill the Pandavas. Therefore they sent the Pandavas to one village and they made the Pandavas live in a house of flammable materials, wax, black, ghee. So Vidura warned the Pandavas about this trap. And so Vidura employed one person to dig a hole, like a, a mine shaft. So the Pandavas could escape and they disguised themselves as Brahmanas and they lived in the holy city, the holy village of Ekachakra. So since the time of the Pandavas, that place is worshipful. Of course, it's considered non-different from Navadvip. So Nityananda appeared there <coughs> as the son of Hadai Pandit and Padmavati Devi. Padma, Padmavati Devi. So he was their life and soul because they are the incarnations of Vasudeva and Rahini. So Nityananda was like their life and soul. They had so much affection for him. But Nityananda, <coughs> from childhood, he displayed great absorption in the pastimes of Krishna. 
In fact, with his friends, who are the eternal coward boy friends, like Baladev has his own set of coward boy friends, they were always absorbed in Krishna Lila. Means sometimes they would do Krishna lifting Govardhan, sometimes they would do Ram Lila, sometimes they would do Krishna's appearance Lila. So everyone was astonished how this child, he knows so much about the pastimes of Bhagawan. So one day they were doing one drama of Hanuman bringing the Osadi, the special medicine to revive Lakshman's life. Lakshman had been hit by one special weapon thrown by Meghna, by Meghna, that is the son of Ravan. So the boys were doing the drama and in the real Leela of Ram, when Lakshman is hit, that he becomes unconscious like dead. And afterwards Hanuman brings this medicine and when Lakshman smelled this medicine, his life returned. So the boys were doing this drama. Then one boy, he threw one lotus flower at the chest of Nityananda. So when this flower hit the chest of Nityananda, then Nityananda was fully absorbed in the pastimes. Then he fell down as if dead. So all the boys saw really, this seems like there's no breath from the nose of Nityananda. Really, Nityananda has left the body. They thought these boys became mad because they are the eternal associates of Nitai. So when Nityananda was unconscious, they began weeping. Then all the villagers came running. They also became mad. Then one old man who was very intelligent, then he asked, what happened just before Nitai lost consciousness? The boys said we were doing this drama. Then Balaram said, oh, uh, this ma old man said, then you have to continue the drama. So one boy, he was in the role of Hanuman. <laughs> he went to the, he picked up one mountain like this. He did the full lila while all the villagers were watching. Then Hanuman gave this medicine to one monkey doctor who crushed the herb and put it under Nityananda's nose. And Nityananda came to life again. In this way, Nityananda spent his day and night always absorbed in Krishna Lila. So one day, one old sannyasi came to the village of Ekachakra. So even if an ordinary guest comes, the householders should do their best to whatever they need, you should give them. What to speak of that guest is Vaishnava or sannyasi. So that some, no one knows the identity of that sannyasi. Some say it was Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. Some say like that. So they spend the night in discussions of Harikatha with that sannyasi and Ojai Pandit. So the sannyasi asks, I want you to, can you give me something? Then Ojai Pandit said, I promise whatever you want, I must give. Please give me your son. <laughs> I am sannyasi and quite old. I need some assistant when I visit the holy places. So when Hadai Pandit heard this, he became stunned as if by a thunderbolt. And Padmavati Devi also. Then they were discussing what should we do? Then Padmavati Devi said, when Dasarad Maharaj promised to assist uh, Vashista Rishi, whatever you want, I will give you. Uh, Vashista. Uh, Vashista. Um, uh, the Diksha Guru of Ram, not Vashista. Anyway, he said, so Dasarad Maharaj promised, what do you want, I will give you. Then Vashista Rishi, yes, it was Vashista Rishi said, give me your two sons, Ram and Lakshmi. So Vashista Rishi was, he insisted that Dasarad Maharaj was very upset. But finally, he showed to give satisfaction to the Vaishnavas is the highest ideal. So he, for the service of, for the happiness of the Supreme Lord, he gave his sons, Ram and Lakshman, to Vashistha Rishi for his service. So had I pundit remembered this history, yes, I must fulfill the promise I gave to that sannyasi. So early in the morning, Nityananda was very happy because 
He knew Sun Lord Chaitanya Goswami's pastime, so he left Eka Chakra. When he left Eka Chakra, then Oja Hadai Pandit became like a mad person. And he became so much absorbed, could not eat, he could not sleep, he could not. So the local deity of Krishna called Banki Roy, he would take the form of Ojai Pandit's son and he would do the plowing. He would take out the weeds from the field <laughs> because Krishna promises, who only thinks of me what he needs I give and what he has I maintain. So all the village became mad in separation from Nityananda Prabhu. Then one man, he said, oh, how astonishing. I read in the Puranas that the Supreme Lord, he will take birth in this village of Eka Chakra. That was Nityananda, he was the Supreme Lord, but we could not understand. Then they looked at some footprints were there and indeed they saw for the first time the foot, the marks of the special marks on the feet of Baladev Prabhu. Then they became, oh, Nitinani was Bhagawan. We could not realize. They ran to search him, but they could not find him. He left. So after the disappearance of Nitinani, Eka Chakra became like a ghost town. Because everywhere reminded them of Nitinani. So gradually that village became again hidden. Only in recent times, again, it's being manifest. So Nitinanda traveled all over India for many years, 12 years, I think. He traveled all over India with his sannyasi. Then finally he came to Vrindavan. His separation from Krishna was like a volcano. He was constantly in the mood of Baladev, weeping, oh, <laughs> Kanaya. Before your heart was very kind. You had so much love for me. You could not tolerate my separation even for a moment. But where are you? You have gone and left me alone. So in this way, in this mood, Balad Nityananda Ram moved forest to forest. Then he came to Madhuvan and weeping. Then voice came, oh, your Kanaya, your Krishna is not here in Vrindavan anymore. Now he has become taken birth in Bengal, in Nadia, and his name is Nimai Pandit. So Nityananda became very excited and he ran to Nabadwin. That's like a thousand kilometers. But I think he ran there in two or three days. <laughs> of course, it's not very hard for him because he is Baladev. But still, and when he came to Nabadwin, he could smell the air. He knew, yes, Krishna is here. I can smell him. But then Nityananda came in one mood. What is this? I've come such a long way. But Kanaya has not come to meet me. So he became in a bit of man and he thought, oh, if he not come to meet me, I will hide. And if really this Nimai Pandit is Krishna, then he will find me. So there was one devotee called Nandanacharya. His house is just there, not past his gone. So Nityananda came to his house and when Nandanacharya saw this huge, Nityananda was seven feet long, with chest like a lion. So he said, I want to stay in your house, but don't tell anyone I'm here. So Nanandachari said, yes, yes. So that day, Nimai Pandit called all the devotees. He had just started his Sankirtan movement, but he had not begun to preach, because that is the department of Nityananda Prabhu. So, he called all devotees and said, last night I had a dream. There was one huge Mahapurush riding on a chariot. And on his flag, there was a palm tree. That is the flag of Baladev. He had a blue cloth earring in one ear. And he was saying in Hindi again and again. And again he was asking in Hindi, because Baladev, no? Ye Nimai Pandit ke hai. Is this the house of Nimai Pandit? So Nimai said all devotees should search for him. So all devotees looked everywhere, but they could not find him because no one can find Guru Tattva without the special mercy of the Lord. 
and Nityananda Prabhu is the original spiritual master. So without the mercy of Krishna, how can we find him? We cannot find him. So all devotees searched everywhere and nobody went, but they said we could not find anyone matching that description. So Nimai personally took everyone to the house of Nandanacharya. He knocked on the door and he asked Nandanacharya, is there someone special living here? So Nandanacharya became afraid because Nityananda had ordered him, don't tell anyone I'm here. So in a very clever way, he said, that if the, does the moon have to ask the sun, where, where is my sun, where is my moon? No, they're always together. So in this way, Nandanacharya indicated without breaking his promise to Nityananda, yes, yes, someone special is here. And that place is the first meeting place of Gornitai. So Mahaprabhu introduced him to all the devotees. At first, Nitidanda embraced Mahaprabhu very strongly. Then they both fell unconscious on the ground. And Mahaprabhu said, this is my older brother. And everyone was astonished. How can he be the older brother? <laughs> this is the first time we are seeing him. <laughs> so in this way, Nitidanda entered the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. And it's through him that when Nityananda came, then Mahaprabhu began his preaching mission, Jadeke Tarakohe Krishna Pradesh. Whoever you meet, speak to them about Krishna. So it was Nityananda and Haridas Tako who made the first preaching party. So before there were the appearance of Nityananda. Bhakti. So without his blessings, no one can attain the mercy of the Supreme Lord. Because he is <coughs> the presiding deity of existence, the Sandini Shakti. So without his mercy, we cannot. Brindavan, the spiritual bodies of all the associates, they are all made of the Sandini Shakti, the eternal potency of the Lord. So, without his mercy, we can have no entrance to Vrindavan, we can have no entrance to Krishna Bhakti or anything. No? So, Heno Nitai Bine Bhai Radha Krishna Paitinai. Without the mercy of Nitai, no one can get the mercy of Radha Krishna. So Nityananda, he began preaching with Haridas Thakur. Everyone he met, he asked them to chant the name of Krishna. Some people accepted, others didn't accept. But especially in that area were two ferocious drunkards called Jagai and Madai. Said in their previous incarnation, they were Ravan, Hiranyakasipu and Hiranyaksha, Ravan, Kumbhakan, and also Shishupal and Daddavakra. But again, to show that even killed by Krishna is still some lacking maybe there because Krishna in the form of Lord Chaitanya is even more merciful. So there's some said they took another birth just to get some special mercy of Lord Chaitanya. When Nityananda told them to preach, they became angry. They tried to kill Nityananda. And Nityananda ran away as if to save his life. In the afternoon, he repeated when Mahaprabhu asked for a preaching report. And Nityananda gave, we met these two drunkards. They tried to beat us. Then Mahaprabhu was astonished. Who are they? Then some Navadri Basi said, oh, these are the two Brahmanas, Madhavananda and Jagadananda. They were from very good families, but by bad association, they became drunkards, meat eaters, women hunters, you know, gamblers. There they abode. There is no sin they have not committed millions of times. So when Mahaprabhu heard this, he became angry. I will chop them to pieces. I will kill them. And Nityananda said, no, Lord, if you kill everyone who is like that in Kali Yuga, there will be no one left. <laughs> so you give them to me. So Mahaprabhu said, oh, Nityananda has taken interest in them. Therefore, these two will definitely be delivered. So when everyone heard this, everyone cheered except Advaita Acharya, he became angry. <laughs> he said, 
Why is there so much talk about this useless Nityananda Prabhu? No, I want to hear the glories of Krishna. Like this, something mood came in him. And he said to Haridas, we should run away from here to save our caste. Because this, soon I predict, many drunkards will be dancing. Two drunkards are Gornitai, and another two drunkards are Jagai Madai. Therefore, definitely these four will be dancing together very soon, and chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. In this way, Advaita Chai indirectly glorified Nityananda Prabhu. And the next day when Nityananda was, some days later when Nityananda was passing, you know, Nityananda would talk with Jagan Mada, but Lord Chaitanya would never talk with him. He would always avoid these type of persons. So there's just those persons who even Lord Chaitanya cannot approach, either as Grihasta because he's a Brahmin or as a sannyasi. Sannyasi cannot mix with everyone, and Brahmins cannot mix with everyone. Therefore, Mahaprabhu would reach such persons in his second form as Nityananda Prabhu. Srila Bhakti Rakshak Srila Maharaj would say, Oh, Srila Nityananda Prabhu is like Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte would attack the opposition, the strongest part of the opposition army, and he would break it. So in this way, Nityananda would go to the most fallen sections of society and he would preach to those persons. No? In this way, Lord Chaitanya's mercy also reached them by the grace of Nityananda Prabhu. So Lord Chaitanya would avoid Jagai Madai, but Nityananda would talk to them. <laughs> then they asked, what's your name? When Nityananda said, my name is Avadut, then Madai became very angry and he beat the head of Nityananda with one wine pot as if to kill him. So when Nityananda was beaten and by the yoga maya, blood was flowing from his forehead, but he not became angry. Akroda Paramananda Nityananda Rai. Nityananda never becomes angry. So with blood on his head, he requested, oh brothers, I am requesting you, please chant the name of Govinda, chant the name of Krishna. So, when this happened, then Ma Jagai had a change of heart. So he stopped his brother and he said, do not kill the sannyasi. He is very innocent. Don't kill him. In this way, he restrained his brother from beating. When Mahaprabhu heard he became very angry, he ran there and called his Sudarshan Chakra to take the life of Jagai Madai. But Nitinanda interceded, oh Lord, even though you see blood, I feel no pain. And actually, Jagai saved me from a further beating. When Mapu heard this, his heart melted. And he, afterwards, you know, he gave so much mercy. And immediately in the body of Jagai developed Prema, you know, which even Brahma, Shiva, even great liberated personalities cannot imagine. That was tasted by the drunkard Jag <laughs> Jagai. He began dancing, his voice choked, tears flowing from his eyes like the Ganga. The hairs of his body standing on end as he chanted Krishna, Krishna, and danced in ecstasy. Then Madai saw, what is this? My brothers had such a change, so his heart also began changing. So he begged to Mahapur, please give me prema also. Mahapur said, never. No, I reject you. I never see your face. You will go to the lowest of hells. Then Madai prayed, O oh Lord, in your previous incarnation, many demons pierced you with weapons, but still you not rejected them. Then Mahaprabhu said, your offense is much worse than the offense of those demons, because you have struck the body of my Nityananda Prabhu. Then Mahaprabhu began glorifying the, the greatness of Nityananda Prabhu. Then Madai, he fell at the feet of Nityananda Prabhu and begged mercy. So by the grace of then Nityananda forgave him, then, Ma, then Mahapur also accepted Madai and both became Param Bhagavats, Mahabhagavats and very intimate associates of Lord Chaitanya. In this way, Lord Nityananda, Nityananda was thinking, if I just preach and change the good persons, this is not the glories of my Nimai. But if I change the most fallen and wretched, then everyone will have the glories of my Satchinanda. So in this way, Nityananda 
were doing his preaching. So he preached all throughout Bengal. You know, that is called Godadesh. And he went village, village to village. So Brindavan Das Thakur has said, Nityananda would go village to village. Yatastamri Brata Kuru Hari Hari Dwana Manisha. With his hand in the air, he would request everyone, Oh brothers, chant Harinam. I promise if you do not get, I take full responsibility for your deliverance to those who chant Harinam. In this way, Nityananda spread Chaitanya Bhakti, means which is Krishna Bhakti. But he taught us if one approaches Krishna directly, may or may not achieve success. High chance cannot achieve success. But if one approaches Krishna's form as Lord Chaitanya, he will definitely achieve mercy, he will definitely become qualified. You know? So, Nityananda spread the glories of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's name, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's form, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lila, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's everything that was spread by Nityananda. You know? So, Nityananda was ordered, even though Nityananda was sannyasi, he was ordered by Lord Chaitanya to accept Grihastha Ashram. So he married the two daughters of Surida Saka, that is Janava and Basuda. We cannot talk too much about them, but Basuda, she had the one son, that is Virabhadra, but Janava Takarani, not performed those pastimes. She performed the pastimes of Acharya. But anyhow, Basuda also preached through her son Virabhadra, who is considered the second form of Lord Chaitanya. No, seeing him was no different than seeing Lord Chaitanya. So Nitinanda's dynasty also came by that way. To Nitinanda, he followed the Lord like a shadow. So he also went with Lord Chaitanya towards when Lord Chaitanya took sannyas. Nityananda knew, but when Nityananda would think of the separation of Mother Sachi, he would weep bitterly and Vishnu Priya. But when Nimai took sannyas, then Lord Nityananda also followed him like a shadow. And he also headed towards Jagannath Puri with Lord Chaitanya. So Lord Chaitanya, one day, when he came to the one river is there, he gave his Dandar and Kamandalu water pot to Nityananda. Stay here, I'm going for begging. So Mapu would go and collect rice and vegetables to cook. So Nityananda became in a mood of great anger. When he looked at this Danda, he thought, oh, because of this Danda, the devotees are, are suffering so much. The devotees of Navadweep, especially Vishnu Priya Devi and Mother Sachi, and he taught my Nimai is the Krishna himself, Bande Krishna Krishna Jagat Guru. He's the guru of the three worlds. Why he have to carry some danda like a sada? So in great anger, he beat that danda on the ground until it broke to pieces. You know? When Mahaprabhu came back and saw the broken danda, he became angry. You know? Oh, this danda is the residence of all the demigods. At least three pieces of danda he threw in the river. Indicating sannyas means what? Not the idea I will merge and become one with Krishna, but who accepts the eternality of the difference between Krishna, the jiva, and also their relationship as bhakti, who accepts these three things, that is real sannyas, that is real liberation. Anyway, then Mahaprabhu said, oh, everywhere I go, you do what is disturbed, so I will not go to Jagannath Puri with you, you can go first, or I will go first, but I will not walk with you. In this way, Nityananda the Rodi said, beg forgiveness, and Mahaprabhu came to Puri by himself. No? And Nityananda and Jagannananda, I think, Haridas Thakur, Garadha Pandit, this Mukunda, these four or five devotees followed him after sannyas. So Mahaprabhu went first, and there he met Sabhavan Bhattacharya, and Nityananda came second. <clears throat> so, Maharaj, Madhusudha Maharaj is giving class on his Facebook, so don't take too much time. He will speak 
more things. So we should know that Nityananda is so much kind, so much merciful. Even those persons who are not qualified for bhakti, if they get the association and mercy of Nityananda, quickly he destroys all anatas, all sins, all offenses, and by his grace, one can achieve Hari Bhakti. So don't think Nityananda cannot give Gopi Bhav. No, Nityananda can give everything. No, so what your suruk, what your desire by the mercy of Nityananda, one can achieve that. No? So don't neglect the worship of Nityananda Prabhu. I hope all devotees fasted today. Now we're in Mayapur and uh, we just did our Bhumi Puja means we started construction of our new temple today, very auspicious day. So uh, I didn't know Maharaj would give class. I was just decided 15 minutes ago or something. So um, we'll schedule another class in a, in a few days, maybe on Saturday morning and Sunday morning. Okay, we'll arrange for classes again. Okay, so people go to Madhusudur Maharaj's Facebook, then he's giving class. I don't know what language he's speaking. Okay, so we'll see everyone Saturday morning and Sunday morning. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much.